rough start for quarterback Keyshawn Fleming. Two interceptions in the first quarter. His backup, Nathan Para, has already been warming up on the sideline. Thanks, Darren. I'm out here at the Coliseum where USC is hosting Wazoo for their home opener tonight. So far, this one has been full of turnovers, but we'll have the final score and full highlights at 10. Being a student athlete isn't easy, especially here at El Camino College, where being a student first is a requirement. Between rigorous training schedules and tough classes, the student athletes at Elko have had to learn impeccable time management and balance in order to excel in the classroom and at their sport. Another huge win for the Warriors tonight is they really come together on both sides of the ball. The offense putting up 43 points and the defense coming very close to a shutout. Thanks guys, when we talked to Coach Rice before the game, he said that this game he's kind of doing something a little different. He's gonna pass off his play calling duties to his coordinator and some of his assistants. A thriller here in Staples Center tonight. After the Clippers blow a 12 point lead, CP3 comes up big, he goes in with the go ahead basket and secures the 93-91 win for the Clippers. Last year was supposed to be the final year of the historic Murdoch Stadium's existence. The Warriors walked off the field for what they thought would be the last time after a heartbreaking loss. Coach, senior night tonight. Except for this is your only year you've spent with these seniors. What expectations do you have from them? Coach, a sloppy first half. What adjustments do you need to make? Is a blowout win like this a good way to go on the road to Long Beach for your big rivalry game next weekend? Last week you came out after halftime and blew your lead. How are you going to prevent that from happening this week? Although Wilson's warrior career is over, he has plenty of basketball left to play. I can definitely personally attest the fact that these kids are in great hands. I've never surfed before and they even taught me. Okay, so it took a few tries, but they got me up on the board. After struggling all season and going winless in conference, the Knights are excited to have ended the season on a high note with a victory. The Warriors are definitely feeling confident, and they should be after that game. A good outing from a freshman pitcher, shutout innings from the bullpen, and the offense coming alive when they needed them to. Scroggins actually transferred to Elko after backing up Matt Barkley at USC. Even though he didn't have an impressive season with the Warriors, he has been offered a scholarship to Arizona. Outside hitter Carstolo makes things look easy on the volleyball court. If you've ever seen her play, you know why you don't want to be on the other side of the net fearing one of her kills. After graduating all three starting linebackers, who were also the team's leading tacklers last season, you think that Elko's defense might be in a little bit of trouble this year. From El Camino College, I'm Jenny Phillips. From Staples Center, I'm Jenny Phillips. From El Camino College, I'm Jenny Phillips for the Sports Desk.